Hello, and welcome to Purina's Live in the Farm Life. We know the passion you have for caring for your animals and for the life you live on your property. Here at Purina, we do the same thing every day at our 1,263 acre Animal Nutrition Center in Gray Summit, Missouri. This is where we develop and research the latest in nutrition and have since 1926. So from our farm to yours, let's live the farm life together. Hello and welcome to another episode of Prina's Living the Farm Life. We are here again at the Prina Animal Nutrition Center in Gray Summit, Missouri in an area of the farm that we call Companion Animal. So here in Companion Animal we have family flock, we have deer, we have sheep and goats, and we have our rabbitry. I'm here with Dr. Patrick Biggs who uh, heads our research here in the Companion Animal area and we're going to talk today about rabbits. So. Dr. Biggs, tell us a little bit about the rabbitry and kind of what we're doing here. All right, so our rabbitry, we have, we have rabbits, obviously, so we can do some research. So when we're kind of coming up with new ideas for what to go in the feed, we can test it in the rabbits. Uh, we have around 30 breeding does uh, that we try and get about eight um, kits out of them, or eight sets of kits out of those rabbits every year um, you know an average of eight kits per breeding session so those 29 30 rabbits produce about 2,000 baby rabbits wow. every year so we have lots of rabbits that come through here that we are always testing what we can do to the feed to kind of ultimately make that feed better for the rabbits and so that we can get the performance out of them that we want yeah so we focus more on on breeding and the dough and the kits are Oh, it, it, it's kind of it's a combination of it because especially if you're more on the commercial side obviously producing rabbits so that you can get more rabbits to get meat out of those is, is important and that's you know kind of what our professional product is for it's really designed to get you know to be able to breed those does eight times a year and get roughly eight kits mm -hmm. uh, per breeding session per rabbit so it's a lot of rabbits so we got to make sure that that nutrition is at that high plane uh, of nutrition for those rabbits so that they can keep doing that. Okay, so we are a nutrition company, so when we're talking about rabbits, I guess of, of all breeds, right. what's kind of the key thing that folks should look for as far as uh, what to feed, how to feed, and, and what does a rabbit need? <laughs> well, the biggest, the, I guess the most important thing when it comes to nutrition for rabbits is really fiber because uh, rabbits really, they, they're designed to always have something in their digestive tract, and that's what the fiber is there to do. Uh, so we have lots of fiber in there. Uh, the things that you're going to look for in the feed, I mean, the vitamins, the minerals, uh, all of those things are in there. You're going to find that in all of the feeds. There are some subtle differences in protein and fiber in all of our products. Uh, the Rabbit Professional is going to have our highest amount of protein and our lowest amount of fiber because we want those rabbits to get to, uh, those young rabbits to get to, you know, meat stage so where they can be marketed at around eight weeks of age. So we've got a, lots of protein in there so they can grow that. Um, not a lot of fiber because we want those rabbits to put on meat, not necessarily to, you know, stay around for a, a long period of time. Whereas more our hobby rabbits, we have show rabbits. Uh, those are a little more, a little less protein, a little more fiber. Uh, just because they're challenged a little more with stress, so fiber really helps keep those rabbits kind of dealing with the stress that they might encounter in life. Uh, the show product, because people are showing their rabbits, they want those rabbits to look nice and shiny. The health of the coat is really important to those rabbits. Um, <clears throat> you know, we, we add extra oil to the feed, so that helps give those rabbits that extra shine when it comes to um, show time. Yeah, so now our product is a comp what we would call a complete diet. Right. So it has everything that the rabbit needs. So, you know, we watch TV and Bugs Bunny with the carrots and all right. of that. Uh, right. Is there anything else that you should be adding to the diet? No, uh, the, the feed is is complete feed so it provides all the nutrition all the protein all the fiber all the vitamins the minerals everything your rabbit need is right in that feed so uh, you know you don't need to supplement your rabbits with anything else and and you you, you mentioned Bugs Bunny now I, I realize everybody loves a cartoon rabbit yeah. but cartoon rabbits love carrots carrots not necessarily the best thing to give to yeah. your to your rabbits if you are going to provide things to your rabbits stick to the green parts of the vegetables that's really the best part yeah. for those rabbits yeah 
Um, so when it, when it comes to feeding rabbits, so we have a complete diet, how do you determine how much to feed? I know some people just like, well, let's give them a scoop or right. fill up the feeder, but is, is it, there's a formula to it? Well, I mean, it's roughly about an ounce of feed a day per pound of rabbit that you have. So, so you need to weigh your rabbit, you need to know what the yeast. rabbit weighs, and then you need to, I guess, weigh your weigh, feed. Weigh the feed. Yes, a lot of people will get comfortable, they'll find a scoop and say, well, I give my rabbits a scoop of feed. Well, unfortunately, measuring by volume isn't always is great because the volume of the feed sometimes changes so what was once five ounces in that one cup is now maybe three ounces or maybe it's eight ounces so weighing measuring by feeding by weight is always the best approach uh, for your rabbits because you do get some fluctuations in that right. and, and, and that takes into account their growth as they grow in right. weight they need more nutrition and so. Right. so typically kind of it's about an ounce of feed per pound of rabbit um, however you're gonna find as your rabbits age they tend to get over conditioned which is a nice way of saying they're a little chunky yeah and so then you know that's why we want to make sure that we're monitoring how much they're eating um, Per day so that they don't get overweight because once they get overweight it's hard to pull them back and get them back into the body condition that they should be yeah. so if you got multiple rabbits in, in a cage or a pen I guess do you, do you weigh each one of them or do you come up with an average weight yeah if you've got a lot of rabbits in there you kind of get an idea of what everybody's going to eat kind of total and put that in there for the day and okay yeah okay uh, and then when it comes to health you know we my wife likes rabbits and we've had rabbits for years. I know that sometimes with a rabbit, it's really hard to tell if there's an <laughs> issue going on. Right. So what do, you, what do you look for from a health standpoint to say, my rabbit's not doing well? Right, and, and rabbits are prey animals, so they tend to mask any disease, illness. You know, by the time a rabbit, you can, by the time you can tell that the rabbit is sick, um, she's probably been sick for a while, and okay. she, she's really, she's to a point where she can no longer mask her, her illness. So, you know, things like paying attention to your rabbit, knowing that, you know, what she does on a regular basis, what her kind of routine is, you know, you're always looking for just kind of you know, a, a sick rabbit or sick animal in general, you can kind of tell because it's not, it's a little lazier, it's a little right. lethargic, yeah. doesn't look so great, the eyes aren't as shiny, there might be some discharge around the eyes and the nose. Uh, those are all things to look for and, and you know, if the rabbit isn't eating feed. Uh, you can look for things, uh, so we've got products in the feed to kind of help with that. We've got prebiotics and probiotics in the feed to kind of help with the rabbits and keep that digestive system as healthy as possible yeah. to keep those rabbits yeah. can going. Can you tell anything by the stool, by looking at the yeah, as the stool, it'll either get runny um, or you, know, you won't see a lot of stool in there. So if they're not going to the bathroom, then they're not eating. And if they're not eating, chances are they're probably not very healthy. Yeah. Um, so in a commercial rabbitry, we're obviously trying to produce rabbits because that's right. your income is more rabbits. Um, what's kind of the average uh, number of kits or what they call a kindling yes. when they... Uh, had their babies so how many what's the gestation cycle and what what should you expect we're having eight uh, kindlings per doe okay per year and then we're averaging around eight kits per uh, breeding session okay um, well, well let's switch and talk just a little bit about show rabbits we kind of talked about commercial rabbits is is there much difference in, in how we raise them how we feed them you talked about obviously a shiny coat is important because that's what judges are looking for um, nutrition wise well for show rabbits I mean obviously those rabbits are being are dealing with a lot more stress because we have to transport them to a show they have to live in a strange environment for you know several days at a time surrounded by other rabbits that they're not familiar with and all the sights and sounds that go along with that uh, so there's a lot of stress that's put on those show rabbits uh, so our show product uh, has a higher amount of fiber in there and that's the fibers there to kind of help keep that digestive tract full of stuff so if the rabbit does get stressed she's still got something in there to kind of deal with that problem. We've got prebiotics in there, probiotics in there as well to kind of help with that uh, that issue. Uh, and then we've got more oil in that feed to kind of help with the shiny coat. So that's really what we're trying to do to kind of keep those rabbits going. Uh, we're in that stressful show environment. Yeah. So when it comes to feeding rabbits, we have, a, 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 I guess, a, several products from uh, a commercial side. Right. And then from uh, just a... Uh, um, I guess just a basic diet and right. then show diets. Right. So if you're looking, if you're not really sure what feed is best for your rabbit, um, the Rabbit Complete is our number one seller. 
Um, that's going to kind of deal with most cases of rabbits. Uh, that's going to be kind of your go-to feed if you're not sure. It, certainly if you're showing rabbits, the show product is the feed to go with. If you're raising them specifically for meat, professional is the product to go to. And then our final product is a product called Fiber 3. So it has the most amount of fiber in there uh, for those rabbits. And you can feed that to anything. We find uh, the people that are feeding it typically are the wool breed rabbits. Uh, they feed that it's a lower protein higher fiber for those rabbits and then oftentimes like the, the really the tiny breeds uh, like your Netherland dwarves and that the, the higher fiber helps to keep those two pound rabbits at yeah. two pounds yeah. well um, uh, owning and, and feeding rabbits can be a lot of fun it's, it's a great family uh, activity and with all animals nutrition is key right. and getting them on the right diet and feeding them the right amount is critical and we all have a tendency to want to you know the old bugs bunny add snacks <laughs> right, and do right, stuff like that right. but if you just have a solid nutrition program right. that's going to carry you through and, and get you where you need to be right and two i mean I, we we certainly the feed is complete for those rabbits um people are going to probably provide snacks and treats to your rabbits just do it slowly and small amounts because as you add new feed ingredients to your rabbits that can upset their digestive tract and if they do have kind of a bad response to something you want to be able to know what that is so if you feed them carrots and green beans and lettuce all at the same time maybe one of those doesn't sit well with the rabbit and you don't know which one it is so we've been there and done it my <laughs> wife uh, loves to to treat our rabbits right. so we we've we've had some of those issues so hey listen if you want to find out more about feeding rabbits uh commercial rabbits show rabbits uh whatever it is uh Go to perinamills.com and, and check out information online, or be sure and stop by your local Perina dealer. They are the experts. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Living the Farm Life. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next month on another episode of Purina's Living the Farm Life.